Hi all, it is Jennifer with Bohemian Rose Tarot here today and I thought since today is December 8th of 2023 it would be a great day to look at the Mother Mary Oracle. I've got the full size over here and the pocket edition over here. I'm going to talk about the differences uh, between them and um, which one I tend to like better just for my daily work and actual work with it. So here's the boxes. Um, these are by decks by Alana Fairchild. Okay, so I'm going to get these out of the way. Um, so December 8th, if you are familiar with the Catholic tradition, is the date of the Immaculate Conception. And for some reason, it is nine months to the day before Mary's birthday of September 8th and I don't understand why it's not nine months to the day of Jesus's birthday but um, since when is the Catholic Church completely logical right so anyway um, just some interesting um, observations but anyway I thought since today is a day we tend to honor Mother Mary I would go through our my um, pocket edition and my Mother Mary full oracle. So the biggest difference is with the pocket edition, the meanings are on the back, which I really like. It has the name of the card and then, um, so this one is Our Lady of Charity. Okay, and then it has the meaning on the back. And it comes with a little instruction card and it says connect with the divine every day and then it's also um, how to pull cards for guidance okay and then a, a cover card um, the full-size Oracle here are the backs they're really 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 beautiful backs there's a rose within a rose within a rose here if you can see see that um, the issue I have with this oracle is in true Alana Fairchild um, style. If you like a really meaty guidebook, then this is for you. But I really don't want to read four pages to get my message. Uh, this girl has some pretty nasty ADHD, and um, I tend to find myself skimming. While these are beautiful messages, I don't think it needed to be four pages. There are some nice things in here and healing processes, but I feel like with the oracle card, with the pocket card, I get what I need with a really small little paragraph on the back. But if you really want a deep dive, um, then this one is for you. I mean, it's... There are literally four pages for each card. Now, some other pros though to the large size oracle is that you get the whole picture and on the pocket oracle, it's cropped just a little bit too small. Like you miss out, like I can put the picture right inside the oracle. I wish they had done just away with the border and not actual parts of the painting because there are some things that you're missing out on. It's actually kind of zoomed in on this pocket deck, just a little tiny bit too small um, because this artwork is so beautiful. So let's go through um, card by card for a little while. I won't do the whole thing so you can kind of get an idea of the differences. So Our Lady of the Sacred Hearth and Our Lady of the Whispering Heart. Again, like a lot of the picture is missing, I think, um, especially on this one. Our Lady of Becoming. Our Lady of Ripening on the Vine. Our Lady of Soul Birth. So you can see that it's cropped just a little bit too close, I think, on the pocket. But I still prefer the pocket oracle because I still think the pictures are beautiful and the messages are right there on the back of the card for me, um, which for me I need. I, I just don't have time to read through four pages when I pull a card. 
This is like a daily kind of draw for me or would be a daily kind of draw for me. I do draw from it once in a while. I really enjoy the messages a lot um, from this deck. I find them very comforting and soothing and kind. Um, so like this one, see, it doesn't really matter that it was cut off because it's just a black background, but there are a few that I feel like it really matters. There's some of the art is missing. Um, let's see if I can find it. another good example of that. Um, I really just think the art is beautiful. Um, some of them are Madonnas with child. Some of them are just... Madonna, Mother Mary, and all different kinds of depictions, as is with Mother Mary. At least the owl is here, but the whole owl isn't here. I like this one better. But again, um, you know, you get what you get when you make it smaller, right? So, um, this one is the co cover of the Pocket Oracle deck. Our Lady of Star Blossom. I think we may have passed. No, not yet. The other one. Um, oops. Did I miss one? Um, putting these in order, since these don't have numbers on them, and these do, um, was challenging. Oh, there we go. Um, but again, some of the art was just really truncated, I feel like. Uh, and unnecessarily so with the pocket edition. Like the border could have just been cut off. Consequently, you could cut the borders off with this one if you wanted to, but um, then you wouldn't know what number it was to look in the guidebook that you needed to look in to find your message. Um, because the name of the Madonna here, or of Mary here, I don't think really tells you much. Let me read you an example of the back. Um, let's see, I like the Sacred Sisterhood one. This is one I drew the other day. Our Lady of Sacred Sisterhood, the Divine Feminine is awakening in your heart. She guides you to apply your heart wisdom to any challenges in your life, transforming something that was once a cause of concern or even fear into a chance to realize the depth, power, and spiritual capacity of your soul. You are strong enough to open up and let others connect to your powerful, awakened, and beautiful heart. And so let's look that up in the book, in this book now. And see, I think that's a beautiful message that we really didn't need a whole lot more with. But, um, I mean, it's nice to have the whole lot more, I guess, if you really want to dig deep or you have the time. So this one... There is um, like an invocation here, almost like a prayer. And then it talks about even with our quirks and idiosyncrasies, we're divine beings. Even with our darkness and struggle, we are still divine beings of light. Although it's sometimes easier to imagine the divine as being light and somehow above and beyond this material world with its paradoxes of joy and pain, we miss out on so much if we think that way. The, or the Oracle of Our Lady of Sacred Sisterhood has come to you with a special gift. It is a gift of experiencing the divine blessings and miracles of the Holy Mother in your physical life. You were born to live heaven on earth. It doesn't mean stepping away from the world with its challenges. It means applying the light to your heart. So, okay, before you even get to the, the divinatory message, we're going through all of that and... I will be completely frank, as a former English teacher, she needs an editor because there is so much um, like stuff there that is kind of repetitive and that you don't really need. There are some beautiful things in there, um, but we don't need four pages of um, meaning, I don't think. I mean, maybe you do, but I truly don't have time. You know, and honestly, um, in my practice at least, I don't have a lot of time. I'm really busy, so when I have a time to sit down and really pull some cards and reflect, the last thing I want to do is read four pages in a guidebook. I want to get my message and kind of move on, to be perfectly frank. Um, so while I love the look of these cards and the fact that we get the whole picture... 
these are the ones that I use. And in fact, if I wouldn't have felt guilty because I opened the deck, I would have returned the large one. Um, but you know, never say never, right? Maybe um, at a time when I have a couple quiet moments and I real feel really feel connected to Mother Mary, I'll sit down and um, read the guidebook. Um, but again, I just have a lot of trouble uh, reading the really long sentences, the M dashes, the, you know, um, in that guidebook, even though there are some beautiful things. Okay. I won't say that's true for every single Alana Fairchild book. I will say Alana Fairchild books are always meaty. They're always, um, you always get a lot of, um, a lot of words in the guidebook, okay? But I don't feel like some of her other decks, like this one is the Rumi deck. I don't feel like maybe this one has quite so much. This is this is a stunning deck. We will talk about this one another day. Um, again, I have the pocket edition for this one, but this one has a whole Rumi poem in it, right? And yeah, it has four pages um, and it has a ritual, but I feel like this one's easier to read for some reason. I feel like the Mother Mary just um, feels sometimes repetitive, the Mother Mary Oracle Guidebook. Um, maybe that's just me, and maybe I just connect more to the Pocket Oracle. But either way, with either of these, you can't go wrong. Um, I almost wish these, instead of the backings, had, you know, this on the back. Um, because they are just so beautiful. And I think I I got off here somewhere with the with the um pictures. There we go. I must have put them out of order. Um but yeah, just just lovely, lovely. Um Our Lady of Comfort is so pretty. But again, I you know that you're missing the pages of the book here. You only get little parts. I think it's interesting you can almost puzzle piece all of these onto the cards. So that is a quick review of the um, full size Mother Mary Oracle and the Pocket Oracle. And so here's the size difference too. So you get an idea. This one is very, very large Oracle size and this one is closer to a regular tarot size. So for example, this is um, the tarot of the witch's garden. So you can see it's just a little bit shorter, but it's a little also just a tad, just a tiny bit wider. So, okay. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough of the Mother Mary Oracle and the guidebook, uh, and I'll talk about the guidebook and the pocket oracle. Um, I, I think, like I said, I would feel guilty returning this because I'd opened it and used it. But I think, too, I might um, pull, the when I draw a card from the pocket oracle, I might look through the deck and find the matching one and use this one for an altar um, card instead of just a daily message because they are super beautiful. So anyway, there you go. There's um, a little walkthrough of the Mother Mary Oracle and the Mother Mary Pocket Oracle, both by Alana Fairchild. And this is Jennifer with Bohemian Rose Tarot. Thank you for spending a little time with me this afternoon or evening or morning. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.